Okay, I'm back. Had to parent for a little bit. Uh, see if I can explain some of this a little better and use no camera flash. I can see already there's no glare, hardly at all compared to before. So, okay. Just wanting to show, first of all, this bracket down here for the lower front pan hard mount focus gotta love technology focus This is so irritating. It wants to focus everywhere except where I want it. Right here is where I want it. Right there. I am done. For real. <sighs> so yeah, this is amazing. right there anybody else want to cuss and scream and throw things <laughs> yeah anyway I'll just rotate it see everywhere I want to show it it's not wanting to focus Do this really slow and get different angles. Showing this mount right here. Without the glare from the light, it might actually show up better. Just a L shape, and then it's cut at an angle right here. Off camera, right here, it's cut at an angle <coughs> just to make this part wider at the top. This part up here is cut at a square, it's just a square, um, and it is squared perfectly with the axle mount right here. Focus. Focus. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, there. It's squared right here. And then I beveled this part. It's got a slight angle to it. I might be able to show that through the wheel. Oh, come on, focus. put it in the screw. This is the most ridiculous video I've had to make. I don't know why my camera's wanting to mess with me. Just because I turned off the flash. Right there. Okay. You can see the bevel right here. That way it doesn't get caught on it. rocks and stuff. It just kind of skips right off of it. Uh, I thought about making just a little piece to go on this side that matches up that bevel but then you know your axle screw right here it gets stuck on stuff also so kind of not really a big deal uh, 
this piece right here is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, it's pretty thin up top. It's not super thick. I'm gonna burn up this whole video trying to get the damn thing to focus. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. It's about as good as it's gonna show up without glaring. But that right there, it's not super thick. The thick part is down here. And that was the block. I showed before the block of the heat sink this section here is what I used for this piece right here the same as on the back on this side and I did mount them opposite I don't know if anybody noticed that ones at an angle like this frame to axle and then the rear one is opposite and it's not really I didn't do it that way specifically to, to keep it from torque flexing but it, it worked I don't know the, the torque twist the way it's supposed to be done or what everyone would say is supposed to be done I just did it that way just because I accidentally cut this piece wrong first this was the first piece I made and I meant to put it on this side for that purpose to eliminate the torque twist from when it would take off it would it would twist over like this and I meant for this piece right here to be on this side but not paying attention I actually marked it and cut it completely backwards from what I wanted so I just rolled with it and well it all worked uh, and it definitely shows up really good without the, the camera flash on. So it might help if anybody else wants to try and duplicate these for themselves. That focus was perfect. There we go. The piece that's on the axle right here is made almost identical to the front I'm sure there's a slight difference but they are all handmade hand filed and uh, just little little needle files different ones I've got a little bit larger one than my needle files and it's a triangle and this is where I get my nice crisp corners just, just saying all of my little needle file needle files have even the ones that are flat sided kind of a triangle on the back that has nothing on it and it's smooth edged but it's flat on the bottom they don't give nice crisp corners like that bigger one that I showed the, the corners work out best with it so I can actually clean up these these edges uh, but yeah this one was the complicated one to make uh, I don't know where this link right here came from I have several little things like that that I'm just not sure where they came from it's thicker fits the, it is threaded on both ends fit perfectly into the the GK24 ball ends and you can see they do work on the Orlando ball screws it's just a little little more tensile strength just, uh, stronger fitment than the the Orlando's the Orlando link ball links 
little plastic pieces seem to be a little looser than, than these. But I wanted to have a little more ball screw protection on the back since it's exposed. Nothing behind it, no guard or anything. And that'll protect those screws, the Allen heads, so I can, don't mess them up. Uh, but yeah, as far as all the pan hard, that's, that's that. Um, kids are doing something in the kitchen um, I wanted to use all of the original mounting points the holes were already here wherever I put them and this screw is recessed into the aluminum just a little bit because I wanted to get more bite into the the bumper mount I'm sorry I was I was off camera this one right here it's recessed in to the aluminum just a probably a half a millimeter and I just realized my screw right here is loose that one is loose um, yeah There's not really much more I can explain about it, but maybe a thousand different angles will help show it to make it a little more visually understandable. And I know some people will want to recreate them with 3D printers and that would be this probably way easier way of doing it than hand filing for hours the way I did because literally each piece I spent about three hours making this one well about two hours for this one I'd say between two and three for this one this one actually took me quite a while because it's lots of different angles and stuff uh, but the 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 ones that are on the axle axles didn't really take that long the hardest part was actually cutting the the piece out of the heat sink heat sinks there's two different ones uh, this one was for the bigger mounts like I've said and then the other one I have none left of it uh, and this is this is just one of the pieces of the bigger one that I I cut off. The other one's laying here, and then the smaller pieces. This is left over of it. So I don't know the measurements of my links or any of that. Oh, I was trying to explain this. Uh, this is from a rad line. It's probably uh, 14 years ago. I had some 13, 14 years ago. I had some Radline buggies, uh, one Doom buggy and two Truggies, stadium trucks. And this was the adjustable suspension links. I turned this one down. I've got another one somewhere. I'm not sure where it's at. It's in a box, one of my little containers. Uh, but I turned it down on my drill press so it would be small enough to fit in there and then threaded it. I actually broke my tap, uh, or not tap, the brain, brain not working right now. Yeah, that just happened. Way too much coffee. Third cup of coffee. And not, my cups are not small. Anyway, uh, I don't know if it's obvious on camera, but running it into the steel block is actually pushing it up right here it's bowing it up this is weak in here this right here I meant to say this before on the other video this is actually threaded to the exact same as the Orlando links and this is one of the shortest links for the AO1 
And this is, I, I do remember now, this is a stanchion out of a TV or a radio that I took apart a long time ago. And I did have two of them. The other one is, I think, on my tow truck. Nope. It is not on my tow truck. I thought I had that on there. Okay, so I don't know where the other one is. Um, huh. Okay, anyway, that's what that is. And the, to get this to work and make this all adjustable, I had to turn this down and thread it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I don't know if I've ever explained this piece. This little stupid thing right here. And just because when I ordered the front and rear bumpers, the little red hooks that go on the bumpers, I didn't get these for the rear. I only got the front ones. The rear ones were not in the package. So, that's a that's a watch band pin just because I didn't want to screw these up give it a little protection there that was just something stupid I did quite a while back that seems to work okay um, I am literally just rambling right now trying to figure it out and trying to explain everything and figure out the one more thing is figuring out how to mount the servo this way if I if I drill in here the screws right here are in the path so I would have to have very short screws so I've just kind of been leaving it this way it works it's working really good actually um, and my next plan because of the servo being mounted this direction my next plan is an N30 motor because there's just enough space here <coughs> I don't remember the exact measurement, but I did measure it. <coughs> and there is just enough space. So. Alright, that's enough rambling. That's another almost 20 minute video. Uh, yeah. We'll see what's next. Thanks for watching.